Yo, yo, yo. Oh, it's the wrong intro. Um, all right, today we're going to keep it um, keep it pretty simple. And we're going to do some, uh, we're going to do some things that we have gone over in previous, uh, previous videos. So all I need you to do is just follow on as best you possibly can. So some of the techniques that we've done, some of the techniques that we've done are um, really, really basic and we're going to implement them into, into kata because all your key on, every, everything you've got, everything you do in key on is, is going to tie in with, is going to tie in with your kata. All right. So if you do have any questions, again, comment below while we do, while we're going live. Um, but if you do have any questions in the foreseeable future, if you're watching this, you've clearly got me on Facebook. So you clearly, uh, you know, we're clearly friends, friends on Facebook. So you can always um, ask me those questions later. Now, one thing that I did want to um, cover from our last um, our last uh, class was there was a question regarding the Hikate and regarding that this, you know, somebody didn't understand why this was a strike. You could you could call it an Ashiro MP, a reverse a reverse MP. So what's if you can imagine um, somebody stood behind you. And the retraction of the hand <clears throat> coming back in a straight line to, towards the, the chest or the stomach area of your opponent. So this Hikate plays a major part. So if you did have that question and you know who you are, um, then that's why. Because the power in this, and if, if when you're doing your, your hand techniques or your key on techniques with your hands, if you focus more on this, the retraction part, the, the striking part will also work as well, okay? And it'll be stronger. So it make this stronger and this will come out stronger. It's the whole push-pull theory. Um, the other question that was that was asked um, about, uh, about punching on a 45 degree angle. So from this position here. Now in some kata, uh, kata uh, so shin, that happens. So when you get to, when you get to, um, uh, you come around, so shin, you go one, and then as you come through, <coughs> you're punching on this 45 degree angle in so shin, um, towards the back end, well, towards the end of the kata. So that also says that, you know, punching on a 45 degree angle, you've kind of got this, as the, as the punch coming out, <coughs> it's this kind of action. So you're gonna generate power as well. Um, very rarely in, in Kion, particular um, or when you the more you the more you do in your karate um, your hips don't really need to be square so there's no need to to be punching this direction here there's, it's perfectly fine to have the hips off this is just aesthetically pleasing this just looks good okay and it looks clean but when you're going through this from a bunkai point of view you're not going to be hip square you're going to be slightly off at an angle so uh, when you're in your zen cut to that um, and you're punching over the forward leg, the oizuki, you don't necessarily have to be dead square. There's nothing wrong with a slight angle on the hips, okay? When I say slight angle, I mean about 22.5 degrees. Don't go fully 45, but just a slight angle on the hips. Let the hips relax when you're punching oizuki, okay? So for your, your first kata, for example, as you come out and you're stepping forwards, <coughs> yes, that's fine, and we say that for beginners, but the further you go, the more you can see. So when you step it out, <coughs> here is also fine. Now that's not perfectly square. Here is perfectly square. So I'm slightly off. Okay, so there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. All right. So you just have that, have that in mind when you're doing your key on. Now let's get into uh, let's get into putting some key on together with some footwork that we have been doing, and we're just going to go straight into first kata. Um, whoa, out of breath talking already. We've only just begun. We've only just begun. So look, um, we started a little bit early, so I'm probably going to finish a little bit early as well. Um, but that's okay, because I'm sure that a lot of you can catch up with this. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to go into our first kata. And I'll just take you through the first couple of steps of probably each kata, um, up to wherever we get to, really. Um, probably up to kata MP. Um, I'll, we'll, start, we'll start going through that, but I'll take you through the first couple of steps and then we'll probably finish with uh, we'll probably finish with kata C and chin um, up to where we got to last time. So your first kata is don't forget you're stepping, you're stepping off <clears throat> and twisting. All right. So we're going to go from this position here. Don't use the hips first. Use the step first. 
what's basically happening is a hook punch is coming in from this angle, okay? Um, a lot of cards will start with the Gidamba eye block. Now, my method to my madness is, is, uh, hello, 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 I'm saying hello to you, trust me. Um, my, my method to my madness with, with developing um, the, to, the Tadashi first kata was that most people are going to swing with a right arm hook. That's why you're blocking left side first. So if you can imagine, the right arm hook's coming in <clears throat> and you're tackling this. You're tackling this head on. Okay? Now, if you're more comfortable doing a step and then a twist, focusing on the feet, that's perfectly fine. The more proficient you get, the more it becomes this okay so you don't necessarily have to step twist so you're gonna step out to your left and block jordan Agi uk jordan uk <clears throat> and from this position all i want to do is just step straight forwards so you're literally going from where you are stepping straight through and then punching head level so you're going to punch jordan level so i'll try and um i could do with a bigger screen really i don't know if i can zoom can't zoom that way either. <laughs> All right, so as we go, as we go from this position here, step out and block Jordan, ish, and then from, you're gonna step forwards and punch knee. <clears throat> and this again is where you would be on a 45 degree angle or there about, you know, just off, just off square. Um, there's two, there's three ways that Tadashi Ru does their first and second kata. I call it fight play for the brown belt level. You're gonna do first and second kata in fight play. Now what that means is, and we'll do some of this now, is that when you step out, uh, beginners will either step out into, the first way to do it is short stance, second way to do it is in all in Zen Kutsalech, okay, both those kata. Um, but the, the fight play basically is, is that from here, <coughs> it's more, it's more of a, <coughs> more of a realistic kind of thing. So to the count, I'm going to let you play around with that. I'm gonna, we're just going to go through the first two steps because the first two steps are vital. If you can do these first two steps, then you can do every other step in every other kata. It's that simple. So, stepping out, block. Itch. And then from this position, you're going to step through, step through and punch. Knee. And then you're going to come back. Now, when you come back, good, a good way to retract is to the hip and also dragging that front foot behind you as well. Because from a teaching point of view, what this does is... It sets you up for count number three. So it helps you get into that rhythm of count number three. So step forward, uh, step out to the side and block. Yeesh. Forward and punch, knee. And then come back. Okay, now we're gonna move into, into count number three and four, which is just one and two repeated, really. We'll probably get to count number five, and then we'll go, we'll do it on the spot. So count number one, ish. Count number two, knee. From this position, your right leg, your front leg is going to come around the back. Now, when you do this, don't sweep. Quickest way from A to B is a straight line. So don't sweep the... When I say don't sweep, what I mean is, and you can see from behind, don't let this come around this way. Let it go in this natural straight line from heel, and then straight through the heel again. A to B. So on one, two, you're going to bring the right foot around the back. As you do that, your arms are going to move as well. So everything's going to move together. Prepare, <clears throat> big turn. So you've turned the whole 180 now. You're then going to step forward and punch Jordan level again. Knee. <clears throat> okay, now we're going to go to the front of the room. So we're going to use our left leg. Our left leg can go into in different ways. So we can either go from where we are, step in and step back. We're just repeating move number one by doing this, okay? Or we can use the advanced way, which is from this position here, straight into it and then use the back leg to twist the hip in if that makes perfect nonsense for you so still with the jaw on block and then forwards and punch knee and then from this position because we're going to move forwards three move forwards another two sorry we're going to draw back first to go forwards to get the body that momentum to go forwards then we're going to step back and punch each this here would be um, the key eye point. This is where you would give out that key eye. Now you don't say key eye. Key eye is just the word. Key eye means shout of spirit. It's the old Japanese. hey -ya! From the old movies. That's what you're basically doing. So you find something that works for you. Okay? Um, so we'll come here. Now again, we don't necessarily have to be square. So not, not so much here. But not here either. We can be a little bit 45 with a little bit 22... 0.5 degrees with this. 
Now what's going to happen is our back leg is then going to shoot. Back leg is going to shoot around the back. And as we do that, we're going to prepare our left arm block and turn. I don't know what the degrees are there. Turn and block Jordan. And then because I've got no room, I'll step back and punch. Okay, so there's first, there's half of first kata. If you can get that, the rest becomes easy. The rest becomes a little bit, a little bit of a piece of cake for you, all right? Um, but they're vital, those techniques and those steps are vital to your training. Um, next thing, and yes, I'm out of breath. Um, it's not a bad thing being out of breath. I watched a video with uh, Jesse Enkamp um, the other day and he did, uh, he did one kata and he was exhausted. All right, and this guy, you know, he's fighting fit and so So I don't feel too bad, but I'm gonna get a drink of water. Okay. Tegyako Nidan, same stepping, exactly the same stepping, but now instead of just block punch, block counter, we're going to put a block counter counter in there. So it's more of a flowing kind of thing. And I'll show you how to get into that in a second. So when we step out, we're going to step out exactly the same way, but we're going to block Gidan Barai. The preparation for Jordan and Gidan is all the same, okay? So we're going to, from where we are, <coughs> swing that around. So you punch, you, you block your get amber right of your forward leg. Notice that the hips haven't completely been used. We've only gone from where we are to a 45 degree angle to our target. Our target's now in front of us on our left. We're then going to use that momentum to the left to draw the hip in. <coughs> and you can punch two down level with this. Now there's also nothing wrong with extending this slightly. Because what that's going to do, what this will do is it just helps with the next technique, so you kind of flow into the kick. So you go from uh, from Gidan to uh, Chudan, 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 or in real term, uh, Chudan, Gidan. Block, punch, or push. Kata is pu Kata is punch, but it could be a push, and then you're going to kick. Uh, Kin Gary, K I N Gary. It's a groin level kick. Okay, so and then the steps are the same. So we're going block. Punch, kick. Now, the, um, the brown ball version is that when you are kicking in kata, you tend to leave the arm out for aesthetic reasons, okay? When you are kicking for uh, bonkai, uh, when you're kicking for, um, for uh, the, the fight play kata that I've, that I've sort of said, it will come into guard position. So you would then go from this position here <coughs> into your guard position. So you wouldn't leave that, that arm out. So it would look a little bit like this. One, two, three, and forwards, okay? I'm putting the foot on the floor with a bit of a bit of stamp just so you, can, so you can sort of hear, but the main thing with the foot is that you bring it back into the knee before you step, okay? And then you just repeat that. <clears throat> and then we're gonna bring our front foot behind us, turn, block Gina level, and then punch, kick. So you just repeat that. So how it works with the hips is your hips are coming around this direction, coming this way with this first technique in particular, okay? That's where the block is going. The block is coming this direction. So what I want you to try and do with you when you're practicing this is have everything continually move in that direction. So as you execute this block, you're swinging it around once it's finished, the punch is coming. I'm, I'm popping it about on purpose. You're punching, and it's still coming through. Now, as this punch is finishing, that should take you into the front kick, okay? So you're doing your block, and you're you punching, you kick this direction. Same as the first, we just simply go, get down block, we do a punch, and then we do a kick. Now, notice the hips are off slightly, because they're gonna turn off because of the kick. Your hips turn off because of the kick, okay? With the front kick, you never, it's never square. You always throw the hip in. So we've landed, and then from here, the hips are already off, which means we can throw those into the uh, chew down. Hips are coming round. Use those hips for the, for the front kick as well. Um, pretty straightforward, really, and then you just repeat that. So there's different ways of using the hips and different ways of transitioning in stance. Now, Kata, kata Cypher. In fact, we'll skip that, we'll move on to something else. So we'll probably get some kata towards the end of it. We've only been going about 15 minutes anyway. Um, 
Um, from this position here, what I'd like to do is we'll do Chugi UK, okay? Chugi UK, um, not used very often in uh, in self defense, but used in it's used in Kata Seon Chin. All right, so when we get into Seon Chin, we're using a lot of two arm techniques. So the first thing you need to do is all you're doing is you're doing Uchi UK and Gidan Burai all at the same time. So you're going to come through from here, so start in this position, so mirror me. From this position, the hand that's coming down comes down on the inside, palm facing upwards, and the hand coming up is palm facing downwards, and then we push. And then we come through again and push. Now what happens is the hands are actually going to fold into the body. They're going to stay in tight to the body until that last second, which is this twist in action with the wrist, where we push out slightly. Okay? And again, there's nothing wrong with extending this a little bit as well this doesn't have to be perfectly there this could happen so you might find yourself <clears throat> striking strike with a bit of a tetsui which to me that's part of the bonkai you know if you can imagine somebody you know i don't want to fight somebody's grabbing your wrist it's there release <clears throat> strike there would be your uh uh yuke. so from here <clears throat> to here okay the difference between the key on and what I've just done is <clears throat> not a lot apart from ones that are a little bit further out than normal. So I've struck towards the groin, I've released the grip. Okay? Pretty straightforward stuff. So, chuki yuke. Ish. Ni. San. I'll go slow. Not that I'm that quick. Uh, I'll come close to the camera so you can see. Go. Rick. Sich. Ach. Ku, Ju. Now don't forget those twists in the wrists. Other thing to avoid using is the shoulders. So don't use the shoulders. Don't do this. Watch what my shoulders do. Not here and then down. Push the shoulders down to the floor and let the arm just come around, come around the elbows. Okay? That's basically it. Look like a 90s raver. <laughs> just need a glow stick, don't we? Okay, from there. Block hitch. <coughs> And again, knee, <coughs> and again, san, <coughs> shi, <coughs> go. <coughs> now, let me explain to you how the hips work on this. Because not only um, are we doing, I like, to, I like to teach as well. And I was having a conversation with somebody um, a few weeks ago about a lot of clubs will teach, a lot of, play, a lot of instructors teach how, not how, but how to do something. Anybody can be taught how, okay? How is the easiest part of, of training in any martial art? What I like to do is I like to teach why, you know? I'm more 10% how, that's easy, but I'm, 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 I'm more ten, I'm more 90% why. A bit like the iceberg scenario, all right? So you only see 10% on the top of the wall. So how the hips work on this? I always fire the one with the hand that's coming upwards. All right, I always fire the one with the hand that's coming up. So whichever hand's coming up, I'll fire that hip first and swing it around. And then whichever hand's coming up, I'll fire that one first and swing it around. So technically, what we are doing is, we have a Gerenuke, an Uchiuke, and a Sotuke, and a Gerenburai. So you kind of got four blocks in this one block. All right, so there's four in there. Um, if you can imagine, from here, Sotuke and Gerenuke, and then from this position, Uchiuke and Gerenburai. So if you want to just work on firing the hips in the direction of the block, you can do it with one arm if you want, so we'll just do one arm at a time. Um, we'll go, with, you know, I'll go on my right you first, you go your left first. So forget this arm, and then just swing the hips <coughs> and swing it around. Okay, now we're going to go this side. So swing the hips <coughs> and swing it around. It literally is doing this, that's all you're doing. But with this, <coughs> it's also, there's a fire here. So you're firing this into the next technique, whether it be a strike or part of the same block. So you're gonna come around <coughs> and fire, and then around <coughs> and fire. Goal with this is keeping the elbows down, okay? So keep the elbows nice and low. Don't let this happen, and don't let this happen. Push the shoulders down to the floor. Use the muscle in the shoulders to push them down to the floor. Here. 
that was a posh one. Okay, and then again the other side. Ish. And the other side, knee. And the other side, san. And your goal is to have that, have that kind of whip with this. Let it relax. I mean, it should be a fist anyway, but I'm just doing it up and down so you can see the relaxation in there. So you let this happen together. A bit like, um, if you think of some techniques like being hit with a wet towel, okay? The technique isn't, the, the, the whipping action isn't the towel going outwards. The whipping action is, is the stopping of the towel. So you're kind of going one, two. So it's this pull back that gives it that power. So when you're blocking with this, it's that stopping, that pull back, that gives it its snap technique, okay? Um, it's called kime, kime, which is the snap at the end of a technique. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna put both arms together. So from there, ish, <coughs> knee, <coughs> san, <coughs> shi, <coughs> go, <coughs> rik, <coughs> sich, <coughs> ach, <coughs> ku, <coughs> ju. <coughs> okay, and relax. Relax, relax, relax. Take a breath, take a deep breath in and take a deep breath out. It's very warm today and it's only gonna get warmer and warmer as we go. Okay, um, so far we're, we're sort of hovering between one and two viewers. All right, I'm debating whether these are uh, worth anybody's while or not. <laughs> um, see how many viewers we get when I throw in a rule. There's gonna be a rule coming out shortly for these uh, live feeds. Um, okay, next thing, we're going to put this together with exactly what we've just done. So you're there, you're standing here, minding your own business. No, I don't want to fight. All you're going to do is you're going to come across. So this is the wrist that's being grabbed. You're going to come across. You can do this open hand. This doesn't have to be so key on now. Don't want to fight. Now, the first thing you do is you don't stand like this when I don't want to fight. There's going to be a defense there. Look, I don't want to fight. Okay, what can happen is, is if somebody's gonna grab this wrist, you're gonna cut across this left hand. Sorry, I've got my left hand up. You're gonna cut this left hand across the face and the right hand comes in front, as you can see. You're then gonna come down and around and then this left hand is going to just simply strike, okay? Now, it can strike different ways. Just because just because we're striking with our uh, tetsui as a part of the kion, that doesn't mean to say that we can't go from here <coughs> and throw the shoulder in there, okay? So you can have that shoulder barge. That's only gonna help you along the way. So you've, your wrist is being grabbed, <coughs> throw the whole body into that. Throw the, <coughs> throw the shoulder forwards into this, okay? This is still having that, having that, um, Okay, um, okay, thanks for, uh, thanks for coming. <laughs> thanks for coming. So, from this position, neutral position, step back, I don't want to fight, gain some distance. They're coming with either a hook, and if they do come with a hook, this is high. As we've discovered in Kata 1, uh, Teyako Shodan, um, everyone, most people are right-handed. So we're going to be, we're already going to be protected. So as that hook comes in, we can still, we can still be here. And if it is a hook, all we need to do is we just need to step forwards <clears throat> and execute that strike there, okay? So it, there's, a, there's a switch. So first of all, we'll work on somebody grabbing your wrist and then we'll work on somebody throwing a hook punch, all right? So we're always gonna go, um, uh, just go whichever leg back you want, all right? Um, if you can, mirror, mirror. Um, but it's, you're, gonna, you're gonna change it anyway. So um, somebody's shoving. If somebody's shoving you, you don't walk back like this. Somebody shoving, the first thing you do is stop yourself from going too far back. That's the first thing you do, it's a natural reaction. And then when you do that, hands up, okay? Here, not down here. Here, look, I don't want to fight. I don't want, I don't want any hassle, all right? I don't want any, any trouble, okay? What you're doing by doing this is you're saying, I've got nothing in my hands, I've got nothing to hide. When you see people stand like this, it's like, what's behind your back? Don't know. When you see people stand like this, it's like, all right, you're ready for something. It's the old bouncer stance, the, the doorman stance. You know, the stand here like this. Not because there's a belly there, but just because from this position, the hands don't have to go too far. Well, like Michael Jackson then, in Thriller. So imagine somebody shoving you and act this out. If you've got a partner, get them to shove you. And from this position, <clears throat> just drop back. 
drop back. I don't want to fight. Okay? Grabbing the wrist first. And we're going to keep our front leg forwards. Grabbing the wrist, we're going to come across. Backhand is now going to be in front. Sh dropping down. And then from this position, striking forwards. Okay, this hand's not going to do very much. But it's having that kind of action, if that makes sense. All right? So from here, from this position now, dropping back, <laughs> not interested. Let that front hand come behind the back hand and then let them switch. And as they switch, strike. Tetsuo uh, strike, uh, Tetsui strike, shoulder barge, okay? Um, you will also see this, like I say, you'll see this in Kata Seon Chin, but you'll also see this in Kata Seon Chin also. So for you guys that, are, that know this kata, um, you will notice that from here, there's the action there, all right? Um, okay, so pushing back, each, and then from there, front hand comes behind, back hand comes in front. If you want to put the step in with the front foot, do so, all right? As this is coming down, <clears throat> try and throw your shoulder in as well, because again, you know, it's a... It's, uh, some parts of the body you don't know you're using, you don't know why you're using them, but you are using them in kata, using them in self-defense, using them in kion as well. So use that shoulder badge if you want to. If you don't have big shoulders, do the bring Sally up challenge. I'm trying that myself, I've got to, I've got to one minute. <laughs> um, there's a lot of weight to carry, I'm telling you. It's hard, it's hard. 25 push-ups a day, no problem. Bring Sally up, problem. And if you're unsure what it is, um, when I get it, <laughs> I will, I'll post the video of it. Um, so from there, starting off shove comes, <clears throat> don't, I'm not interested. And then we're gonna use this again, slowly coming front hand around the back, back hand around the front, blocking down, so releasing the grip here, re releasing this grip, and then strike. <clears throat> okay, habit, because now what I wanna do is punch. Okay, so, the natural reaction from, from here would be to, see it's just wound itself up, hasn't it? So you come from where you are, stop, blocking, wound up, striking. If you want to put that into play, you can do. Don't necessarily have to close your fists. <clears throat> Teisho would, uh, would be perfect, okay? Um, you can go Nakadaka Ken, which is this knuckle here, Nakadaka Ken. Hurts in the chest, or you can go Ippon Ken, hurts in the chest also, also in the throat as well, okay? But only use those if you've been uh, um, conditioned, if you've done some tamas Tamashawari, uh, not Tamashawari, Makawari, which is conditioning of the, of the arms, conditioning your knuckles. Tamashawari is the breaking part, so you've got Makawari, which is conditioning, Tamashawari, which is uh, uh, the breaking of boards, or tiles, or... What are you going to do? Oh, don't hit back. Okay, so from there, stop, block, and strike here or here. Now, if you're using this, if you're using a shoulder barge, this won't protrude as much. It'll be more, more this. So this will be tucked away. Now, what can you do with this? You've done the shoulder barge. So if you can imagine, they're swinging with the right arm. So they're now wide open. We've gone from here, I'm oh, sorry they're not the blocking, so from here, we've broken the grip, okay? We can use this <clears throat> to execute on the inside. So this can come around, if you can imagine they're grabbing you with their right arm. So from here, we've now closed them off. They're now, their arm's over here, and their body's now facing that direction. You can, with this bottom hand, use the shoulder bag, but then come up on the inside, <clears throat> and put that, that bit of a back fist in there, which you will see in... Had to cipher, okay? So you, it's, it's all there for you. It's all there for you. I suppose this could be cipher as well. Okay, so from here, uh, block, uh, stopping, blocking, and striking. Then, if you want to, from this position, from here, <coughs> punch. Okay? There are one or two cards where there are hook punches. A little bit like Kagizuki, this is kind of the, the hook scenario. I don't know what. I don't know what the uh, um, hook punch is called, but there's nothing wrong with, from this position, punching this direction. Because let's be honest, if I'm punching head level, look what my hand is now. 
If I'm punching head level, look at the oh, look at that path it's taking. Does that make sense? So you're you're only half you're at, you're halfway there. You've basically done your head level punch and stopped, and then you continue. <clears throat> so there's nothing wrong with that. Also, um, you might see me sort of rising up and pushing forwards just to add a bit of extra power into the punch. Nothing wrong with that either. So we're going to go back, stopping, blocking, <clears throat> punching. <clears throat> oh yeah. <laughs> um, I get a bit carried away when it comes to this sort of stuff. I love bunkai. I love bunkai. Um, I love showing people what we can do with certain stuff. Um, so yeah, so I get, I do get a bit carried away. I've only had one Red Bull today, so that's pretty cool. So stopping, blocking, <coughs> striking, <coughs> punching through. When you punch, aim for your own head. If you can see yourself in the camera, aim for your own head. Okay, you know, don't aim over here. Aim over here, practice good technique. Now, because of where the arms are situated, imagine you've got an arm here, okay? We're then gonna drop it, <clears throat> we can come in towards the kidney area, okay? A bit like a, <clears throat> a bit like Yukagizuki in MP. So if you can imagine that somebody's grabbing my left wrist with their right arm, and again, if you've got the opportunity with a partner, try this. Grab the left wrist with your right arm, okay? Now, we're gonna reverse this, we're gonna, we're gonna break, break this free. I'm not gonna break into song. We've now got an arm here, head's there, left arm's way over there somewhere. So the body is now what I would call closed off. From this position, we might wanna go over the top, boom, and put this in there. The butt, <coughs> put this in there. Or we can come underneath, <coughs> and put this in there towards the kidney area. All right, towards the floating rib area. Make sense? Wickedly wild, wild west, good. Okay, so stopping, blocking, striking. <clears throat> stopping, blocking, striking. <clears throat> Through. Okay, now we're gonna use this for a hook punch scenario. Um, hook punch, and then I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna have two minutes break. We've been going for half an hour now. So, somebody shoves, I don't wanna fight. This hand's, the left hand's got to be high because 90% are swinging from this side. So if you ever see me down the pub or whatever, and you're gonna start a fight with me, please don't, because I don't like fighting, but don't swing with your right hand, because I'm gonna see it coming, okay? I'm gonna see it totally coming towards me, so you know, just don't, don't bother with that, all right? Start, if you're gonna swing, swing with the left hand, which for nine times out of 10 is probably your weakest, okay? So we're gonna go from there, stop, Block. This doesn't have to do anything, it's just stopping the punch. And then from this position, we're going to step forwards. We're going to let this hand come around <clears throat> and strike. And then we're going to come back to starting point. So we're stepping back with the same leg. So it's stop, block, <clears throat> strike. And then back. And again, it's still chuge uke. Chuge, you know, the double uke receiving. Received one. Two. The only difference is, is that we are starting here. We start in there <clears throat> and then around. We're still finishing there. Just a little bit higher. One high, one low. So it's still the same sort of thing. Um, all right, so stopping, blocking, striking, <clears throat> then back. Stopping, blocking, I'm just using this as a bit of a symbol to block and then through and put strike. <clears throat> now if you want it from that position, you can then come down, rake the face, <clears throat> and then execute your back fist if you wanted to. A bit like you're doing again, cipher. Okay? So stopping, blocking, striking, rake down, <clears throat> through back fist. Um, if you wanted to, because you just you just struck in the the schnutz. This arm's now going to be a little bit, because you just struck someone in the groin, and again, you can't stop with this. Um, but because you struck someone in the groin, the thing they're going to be thinking about is their groin, okay? Male or female, that's, they're going to be thinking about what hurts the most. And that's where the pain receptor is going to send their thinking, all right? So wherever you get hit, you start thinking about that area, all right? So if you, if you think from here, 
Don't want to fight. I've blocked. <coughs> I've struck. Pain receptors now all the way down towards the groin area. That's where their head is at. They're not thinking about any power in this. And then from that position, <coughs> oh, um, <laughs> sorry, get a bit carried away. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to leave you practicing those two things, and we'll come back with a bit of kata. All right, I'm going to, ah, I'm going to do my waves, wave, wave, oh, wave, wave, and then wave to anybody that's still, that still might be, still might be watching, if they are still watching. Um, all right, so. Um, I'll have a quick drink, quick drink, and the thing about wearing, thing about wearing a t-shirt that's a bit too tight for you is, when I go for a shower in a, in a little while, in a little while, I'm not going to be able to get, take it off, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be up the creek, um, might need help, I might need help getting undressed. Okay, so what we're going to do in a minute, I mean, do you have any questions, anybody that's watching, anybody that's you know, currently live right now. It's a pointless exercise writing questions um, uh, while we're not live. But if you do ask questions while we're not live, then I can always throw them into our next our next live video. I can always do a live in the living room on those as well. I am going to change them on face, uh, on YouTube. Um, I think I've called them home training. I'm going to call them live in the living rooms so that people understand that you know we've been on Facebook. So I'm just going to change the name of them. I think it's about eight or nine. Um, that's not bad, is it? Nine, eight, nine hours for free. Free karate training. Okay, so, if you're still watching, give me a thumbs up. If you're not watching, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do now is, we're going to a bit of, uh, bit of kata. And um, we'll, co we'll continue kata sinchin, and then we'll move into a bit of MP. Um, oh, God, I didn't see who that was watching. Didn't see it, I think that might, might have been Steve, was it? Or it might have been, uh, might have been Mindy. I might have been Owen, I don't know. There's only two people I can see. Um, see, we're a humble club. We'll still teach if there's only one person watching. Okay, a bit of, uh, bit of say on chin. Now, where did we get to last time? Let me just replay it. Let me just play it out in my own mind. I think we got to, uh, got to here. Boom. Boom. Um, don't know, probably there, there, and there, yes, we got to that point, <laughs> sorry, I didn't, I didn't see it, I think there's a lag on this anyway, so don't, look, don't panic, it's alright, it's okay, um, the more you like, the more you share, um, the more I can start charging for these things, okay, so, we got to, what I want you to do is I want you to be facing the camera, but off on a 45 degrees, and being shkadach, or, you know, just be on an angle. It doesn't matter what stanchion because I know we push for space. Um, unless you've got a huge living room that you're not pushed for space in, then get down into shikadach. Okay, so you're blocking down with the left arm. You come around, you block down with the left arm. Giramburai, not tetsui. So the knuckles need to be pointing towards your target, which was this direction. Okay, we're then going to do basically what we've just done. So we're going to play that, what we've just done in the kata. So from here, we're going to step our left leg level with our right leg, I'm, 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 I have to adjust, so step our left leg level with our right leg, and bring our right arm behind the left hand, okay, now don't be too pedantic with this right now, because we are just learning the pattern of the kata, so from this position, we're then going to step our left leg back, so we've now, we're now sort of sideways onto the camera, dropping our right arm towards the groin area, as a teisho, teisho zuki, towards the groin, while this here is blocking Blocking away. Now you don't have to. You don't have to shape your hand. Anytime you've got your hand open in kata, that would generally symbolise you are grabbing. Okay. So whenever you see people like this, you are either grabbing or you are striking. You don't have to shape the hand. All right. So come around this way, and then from that position, we're going to do the same again. We're going to step our right leg level with our left leg. I'm going to shuffle forwards, and at that point, we're going to bring our. Uh, which one is it? We're going to bring our. Um, left hand vertical behind the right hand, which is horizontal. And then we're going to step our right leg back, drop our left arm down, and again strike Teisho Zuki. Now what happens with that is, as you come around, you're going to cut all the way across the body. All the way across. Don't go from here to here. Okay? 
You want that wind up in the technique, okay? The gorge you when they first started doing this, everything was massive. Every, techniques were big and round, big and round. Now we could, we do that to a point, but not to the extent of 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 this. So this isn't this isn't a short technique. This is a a round technique. Basically, what you've just been doing, same principle applies. Okay, so you've just been doing this. So we're back now. Now, uh, Tadashi version. I'm only going to show you the Tadashi version. If you want any other version, then you have to um, you have to go onto YouTube or something like that. So from here, we're going to sweep our right leg around into Haiko Sanchin, which is a parallel stance Sanchin length. Okay, it doesn't, but it doesn't matter to me whether it's Haiko Sanchin or if it's Sanchin. It doesn't matter to me whatsoever. As we do that, the right elbow comes around. And I notice it's not changed height, so we've not we've not dropped it to bring it upwards. We're just dropping, we're just dropping it in. So it's already there, it's on this plane. Just drop it in. So we come around and reinforce it. So if you're gonna gauge anything, the crease on your wrist needs to be the same height as your eyes. So come around this way. And then from this position, we're gonna sweep. Now, to get the sweep, just, you're already centered, but to get the sweep, just bring the um, instep of the foot to the knee, here, and then back fist. So double shuffle, not truffle shuffle, a double shuffle. So we go one, two, back foot, three. Try and get those all together. So we go one, two. All this does is just push upwards. Just pushes, just reinforces. It's just a reinforcement. Now with this, we are going to go off to the corner. So come around, stroke. Now we're gonna go, wherever your camera's facing, go over your left shoulder this time, okay? So you're gonna go left shoulder, off on the angle, all right? Not all the way around, but just off on the angle. So from here, step in your front foot in line with your back foot. Don't go too far. So you step your front foot in line with your back foot, this hand is gonna come down on the inside. This hand is gonna come up, okay? Chugi Yuke. So you go from here, turn. Now you do finish in San Chin. There is a way to get there, but again, we're not gonna be too pedantic about that. With this, put a bit of uh, oomph into the, into the twist. So we'll go from here, step, <coughs> twist. You're gonna open your left hand as a grab. So you're now here, left leg forwards. Open your left hand as a grab, into the hip, through in a straight line. And you'll finish, same as cipher. So the fingernail is gonna be level with the mouth when you're finished. Don't let this go up and down. It just stops. <coughs> There's no upwards down motion with this. It's just <coughs> stop. But you must, you must, Yeah, we all do, Steve. <laughs> we all do, but you know where I am. You know, there's no, there's no excuse, really. Um, so from here, you must come into the hip first. Do not strike from down here and upwards. Because what happens is, is this here will, not, will have shoulder power, all right? Whereas this here will have elbow power. And with your techniques, you want to have elbow power, not so much shoulder power, okay? The closer it's the body, <coughs> the stronger it becomes. From here, <coughs> you can probably see a difference. Striking from down there, <coughs> upwards. Striking from the hip, <coughs> upwards, okay? So I feel a difference. This one plays my shoulder and my elbow a little bit. This one is comfortable, but also strong as well. So, we grab with the left hand, we step in with our right, on the angle, and uppercut. In the kata, this is your kiai point, so kiai there. We're going to execute a back fist, so from where you are, back fist, tetsui, come right across the face, big circle, left hand back to the hip, okay? So it would look something like this, you would grab, 
<coughs> step out, <coughs> back fist, <coughs> tetsui. Um, don't forget when you're stepping out, front foot stays last. So we're going to use his last <coughs> to fire this in. All right, so front foot last. Um, so where are we now? We've gone through, uppercut, back fist, tetsui. Stepping back on the same angle, away from where you've just been, with left down, gidan barai. Gidan barai, knuckles face the target. Okay, now we're being grabbed from behind. So this is where the question from last time of this um, hikate, it's, it's not a strike, it's not a strike. It is a strike because now from this position here, we're being grabbed as a bear hug. From here, we're going to slide in, slide inside the arms and then lift up the, the opponent's arms with this, but strike, <coughs> strike back with this. So you can imagine someone's got their arms around you, bear hugging you. You're going to use this to make their arms go up. What that will do then to the potential opponent is if they're here, arms down, this can become solid. This is harder to hit. But once this is opened, it's harder to, it's harder to tense. It feels a bit weird. And this just opens the ribs up. Whereas here, you can protect. You can protect with whatever you've got. All right, this is stronger. If they're lifted up, you just open the rib cages. And then we're just gonna simply <coughs> strike back. <coughs> Striking back from there. Okay? So, all three of you. <laughs> Um, so we're just blocked. Now, th that's, that's for Bunkai. We'll do the kata now. So we step our right foot into cat stance. Left arm comes up. Just parallel with the power of the body. And then slight drop into your Nikolashi Dach. Slight twist off with the hips. So again, 45 will do. You don't have to be square here. So don't go square. Because your opponent's behind you. If you go square, you've missed. So you need to be off on a slight angle. <coughs> And from this position, we're going to step back again, drop, lift, <coughs> off on the angle. Now, the way I teach this is that from this second one is to thread this one through. Thread this in first and then let them cross. Let them cross in between. This is a lift up. It's not a mawashi MP. So it's not this for the purpose of the kata. It's, <coughs> it's upwards. Try it when you do kumite. If somebody's punching you. Try blocking with my wash the MP. <laughs> it's effective. You know, somebody's punching you, just lift. Try blocking this way. Okay? Go slow to begin with. So come through. <coughs> now from here, we're in Neko Alright, and then what we're going to do is we're going to step our front foot in line with our back foot, the balls of the feet. Not the heels or anything, the balls of the feet. What I teach is as soon as you get, as soon as you get this, this warm feeling, Gentlemen, ladies, as soon as you can feel your thighs close together, that's when you've gone, that's, that's enough. So from here, that's too much, too much. From here, enough. So we're here now. This one comes down, elbow drops. We're going to turn <coughs> and block. So we actually end up from here, step. I'll do it towards the camera so you can see. Step and turn, and then from this position, Block with your chugi UK, right up, left down. So come around. <clears throat> now, same as before, grab. Notice I pulled this back to the hip. It doesn't matter how you do it, you can either go from this position, grab, pull it back to the hip, or you can go from this position, grab, and pull it back to the hip on the move. Actually, take the hip towards the hand. Again, okay, it's a bit tight. My belt's not fixed. <laughs> well, you know what that is, you know what that is, Mr. Racking, don't you? That's um it's called old age, isn't it? Unfortunately, because we've not been in the dojo for a while, um we do pile a few pounds and I'm dreading putting mine back on because I know it's not gonna fit. So, you know, <laughs> I might end up training in tracky bottoms and t-shirt. So from this position, step, <coughs> turn, grab, <coughs> uppercut, back fist, tetsui as you have done. Come off on the angle, <coughs> gear and burai. Okay? Now again, with those transitions, make sure it's it's step and then the, the heel last. Okay? 
we're nearly at the end of this, so I'm going to finish with this really. Um, so we've gone from uh, we've gone to here now. So same as we've just done. Left foot comes across, right hand comes up. Bonkai is in here. Okay, we're going to scrape in here. But for the kata, we're there. And then drop. <coughs> Put the hip in. <coughs> then from this position, feed. <coughs> step. Okay, we've just blocked. Or we have, um, or somebody just grabbed. Left hand comes up, palm facing backwards. When you get to the front, turn the palm. So when you get to the ear, turn the palm. A bit like a... Bit like a, a dog or a whatever, mount scratching the rear. So from there, come up, around. A bit like cipher, step, dragging the back foot, back fist. Speed. <coughs> Finishing with Shiro Neko Ashidach, reverse cat stance. So all the way on the front leg, back foot. Um, toes on the floor. You're then going to step back, drop the hands, come around, up, elbows, back of the hands, down, and push outwards. And then finish. And then finish. Okay. Um, look, that's all we're going to do today. Um, why? Because I'm knackered. All right, so... Um, if you've got any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, remember that when you are training, when you're doing your Kion, when you're doing your Karate, when you're doing any form of training, that it's not all what it seems. A punch isn't just a punch. A returning hand isn't just a returning hand. Every defense is an offense and vice versa. Okay? Your stances are all there to take down, but also to defend. Okay, so whenever you think of um, whenever you think of a stance, it's not just a thing of stability. All right, it's a thing of to take somebody down or to unbalance somebody. It's also there to protect. When you think of a block, don't think of a block or a receive. Think of it as a strike. Every block is a strike. And then when you think of strikes, always think of those as defense. Okay, because they can be defensive. A block can be a strike, and a strike can be a block. Okay. Um, things aren't always what they're saying, but if you do have any questions on anything I've said tonight, that's, or any, in any of my videos, then please feel free to either comment on the YouTube channel, comment on Facebook, let me know what, um, let me know what's, you know, what, what your question is, and I'll try and answer it in the next video. I might do a video specifically on that, a short video specifically on that, just for you. Okay? Um, and again, I don't mention names, so the most stupid questions are the one you don't ask. Alright, so please ask. Other than that, Stay safe in these COVID times, uh, and I will see you on our next video next week at 6.30 on Thursday, maybe just before. Um, look, if I start early, I'll finish, I'll finish early, it's all right. Um, so yeah, and we'll do some, some more of the same, but different. All right, see you soon. Bye. Sayonara.